hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can convert your audio into a written text or how you can transcribe your audio into a written text using python and you can give audio either by speaking into the microphone or by giving the audio file like dot wave files and the best part of it you can give audio in any language it can be in english spanish russian german or other languages so first let's start by converting the audio into the text by speaking into the microphone and then later we will cover how we can convert the audio files into the text so to convert the audio into the text file first we have to download and install some important libraries for the python for this you have to open your terminal and just type here pip install the first library we need is the speech recognition just type here speech recognition and press enter i have already installed this libraries that why it set requirement already satisfied and the next library you need is the py audio just type here pip install py audio and press enter i have already installed this library next you have to open your compiler where you are going to write your python program so i'm using the vs code for this i have to open my vs code i have to type code space dot minus minus no sandbox and press enter as i have already created the python file in my compiler with the name of test.py so i'm going to write my python program in this file first of all i have to import the library that we have installed earlier called speech recognition to import this library i have to type import speech recognition as sr for short and next we have to create our main function and inside this main function i'm going to use the class called recognizer from the library speech recognition for this i have to type sr dot recognizer and we are going to store it in a variable so i'm going to name my variable recognizer next i'm going to create a function that will convert our audio through mic into a text for this i have to write def the name of our function so i'm going to give name to my function is mic to text and in this side function we have to pass the variable recognizer and the language in which we are going to speak or the language which we want to convert into a text next we are going to use our microphone as our source or as a device of audio for this i have to type here with sr dot our microphone as a device you have to type here microphone and the brackets here as source device and next we have to filter the noises that are coming through the microphone it is kind of ambient noises and to filter out the noises you have to type here recognizer dot adjust for ambient noise and in this you have to pass your microphone now our microphone is in the variable called source you have to pass here source and the duration and i'm going to give the duration of five seconds Second. it means that it will listen our microphone for five seconds and try to figure out the noises that are coming through the microphone and try to filter out those noises so we can print here for the user adjusting for ambient noises from mic and the next thing the user can speak in the mic after filtering out the noises for this i can type here listening speak into the mic please and the next thing i'm going to try to capture the audio from the microphone for this i have to write here try and to capture the audio from the microphone i have to create the variable with the name of audio here and we have to use the recognizer dot listen we have to give the audio from the microphone into this recognizer dot listen function and our audio is coming from the microphone and it is in the source variable so i have to pass here the source variable and i have to give here time out of 10 seconds so what does it mean time out of 10 seconds it will try to listen for the audio for 10 seconds if there is no audio coming in 10 seconds so it will close our program so we have to catch this error if there is no audio is coming through our microphone we have to type here except sr dot wait timeout error and the error is no audio coming from microphone from mic and the next thing if the audio is coming from the microphone we have to convert this audio into the language for this we can write here text variable and we have to again use the recognizer and we have to call the function recognize google we are going to use the google service to recognize our audio and convert it into text you can simply type here google and you have to pass your audio here and the language of the audio which we want to convert and our language 
language here and after getting the audio here it will process it for this we can tell the user now it is processing we can simply print here processing wait and after the processing our audio will be converted into the text so we have to print this text here what we have speak for this you can simply write here the text and our text should be here next thing if you want to save this text in a file you can also save it for this you have to type here with open and the name of your file in which for you want to save this text or you write this text so i'm going to write this text into the file mic to text our file should be of text type and we have to write our text in this file for this you have to type here w s file and you have to write here file dot write and we have to pass over text here in this file and to catch the error if there is the problem with the google service either our google is unable to understand our language or if there is no connection in between our python and the google service to catch this error you have to simply type here except if you want to catch if the google is don't understand our language you can type here sr dot unknown value error and you can print here that google does not understand the input audio language and if you want to catch the error if there is no connection in between the google service and our python code so to catch this error you have to type here except sr dot request error as e and you can print this error here like request fail to google service and you can also print the error here which is stored in the variable e and you have to write here f and if there are other kinds of errors are present you can simply type here except exception as e we don't know what this error is so you can simply write here f error occurred and we have to print this error which is stored in the variable e next we are going to use this function to use this function you have to call it in your main function you have to type here mic to text and you have to pass your recognizer object here and your language so we have to use the local code for the language for the english language the local code is en en small en and capital en i will share the local code for all the countries or for all the languages in the description and also here in the image form next to test over program we have to call our main function for this i have to write here name equal equals to main and we have to call our main function here that's it now we are going to test our program what it will do you have to open your command prompt and you have to call your file here i'm going to use python 3.12 and test.py is our file if i press enter so it is first adjusting for the ambient noises for the mic for five seconds now it is telling to me speak into the mic i will speak hello you are watching robotics workshop okay so we are getting the error here request fail to google service recognition so the error is here you have to pass the language variable here in the language this is it now it is adjusting the ambient noises that are coming through the mic hello everyone you are watching the robotics workshop and now it is processing and you can see here in the text it is saying hello everyone you are watching the robotics workshop as you can see here in the sidebar over text file is also created mic to text with the extension of text that we have created here so if i open this file you can see the same content here hello everyone you are watching the robotics workshop so this is how you can convert your audio through mic into the text so if you want to try another language i know a little bit deutsch so let's try with the german language so i have to change the language here i will write here the local code for the deutsch language which is de and capital de here now i will run my program again this time i will speak deutsch so first it is going to again add just for ambient noises when it says listening speak into the mic i have to speak something i have to run this program again this time i have to speak german hallo guten tag wie geht's as you can see here in the text it is saying hallo guten tag wie geht's it's a german language this is how you can convert your audio in any language into a text next we are going to convert the audio file into the text for this everything is same just a little bit different so i am going to copy this whole function here a lot of things are the same so i'm going to copy this function and i will choose here file to text now audio file to text and all the things are the same as we don't have the mic so we are not going to 
filter out the noises from the source which is mic so we have to remove this part here and we are not speaking into the mic so we have to remove this part and here also our source is changed now it is our audio file you have to write here audio file and you have to give your file here file name and you have to also pass the file in this function so i have to create one more input variable here for the function which with the name of the file name it will come here and now our audio file is used as a source of our audio and the next thing we have to copy this function listen and instead of listen now we are not listening to the microphone we have to convert the recording which is already recorded in the file for this you have to use the record function here and there is no time out for this and you have to pause your source here and the rest of the things are the same and we also don't have to use this error wait timeout error because we are not waiting the audio from the mic so we have to remove it this is it so this time i'm going to test the audio file and we will try to convert this audio file into the text so this time i have to call here my function file to text and this is the same first we will try the english language and we have to give our file here for this i have to create the variable here file name and our file name here is first i'm going to use the english language so our file is english dot wave so this is our audio file now i'm going to run our program and test this function on your terminal and again run python test.py and one missing required arguments or oh, we forgot to give the argument here it should be our file name here this is it now we are going to test our program it is processing our audio file and now we are going to compare our audio file through this text so i'm going to run the audio file which is english.wave i'm going to play this audio and we will compare it with through the text the boy was there when the sun rose the rod is used to catch pink salmon the source of the huge river is the clear spring kick the ball straight and follow through help the woman get back to her feet the pot of tea helps to pass the evening monkey fires black flame and heat the soft cushion broke the man's fall the salt breeze came across the sea the girl at the booth sold 50 bonds so as you can see that it is so much accurate now we are going to try another language i'm going to try deutsch for this i again have to type here de and capital de and i have to change my file now i'm going to use the deutsch audio file and now i'm going to gain test over program just run it it is processing and in the audio it is saying of klarung is immer der erste schritt now we are going to run our audio and compare it with the text aufklärung ist immer der erste schritt Punkt. as you can see it is also so much accurate you can try other languages if you want the last language i go i'm going to try is french for this i have to type here fr is the code for the french and now i'm going to pass my french language file here and if i run it again it is processing wait no he prints something la bise le Lyle. I don't know French so we are just going to compare and listen the audio and compare it with the text so I'm going to run the French audio and we will compare it with the text. La bise le soleil se disputait, chacun assurait qu'il était le plus fort quand ils virent un voyageur s'avancer enveloppé dans son manteau. Ils tombèrent d'accord que celui qui arriverait le premier à lui faire enlever son manteau serait le plus fort. Alors la bise se mit à souffler de toutes ses forces et plus elle soufflait plus le voyageur serrait son manteau autour de lui et à la fin la bise renonça à as you can see it is also so much accurate so the last test we are going to give the audio with the background noise and we will see how much it is accurate so i'm going to pass my english audio file and it has some background noise from the cars and we have to change the language here for the proper translation into the text which is the english language and i have to process this file on my program it is processing wait and it is saying she had your dog suit in greasy wash water now we will compare our audio with the text and see how much is it accurate in the presence of noise so this is our audio she had dog suit in greasy wash water all you asked me to carry an oily rag like that she had your dark suit in greasy wash water all year don't ask me to carry an oily rag like that so as you can see here when the girl speaks something in the presence of noise it mismatches the text with the audio here in this part because the boy and the girl said the same thing but if you compare the boy part is correct but the girl part is wrong here so in the next video i'm going to teach you how you can filter out the background noises and how you can make this tool more accurate
it in the presence of the background noises and after that in the next video i will show you how you can transcribe your video into the text or how you can captionize your video so if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to press the bell icon to get the updates of new uploads see you next time bye bye